I'm a planner maniac, maniac, that's for sure. And I'm planning like I never planned before. Look at my fro. Ow! peeps of YouTube and welcome. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Kat and you're watching Planning Calm. And here in this channel, I love, love, love to share with you all the ways I can help you plan your way to calm. Now in this video, I thought it'd be fun to share with you, uh, number one, my planner collection, which is pretty up there. <laughs> and number two, helping you find the best planner for you. Now, if you haven't watched already, I did do a separate happy planner based video just because I had a number of happy planners. I'll throw it up in the card for you so you can check it out. And in that video, I kind of go through the different layouts and the different formats and all that good stuff to help you make an informed decision on picking your next happy planner. But I also wanted to do in this video a more comprehensive planner type video showcasing all the planners that I've had, used, and loved over the years, and which one is my favorite. So here we go. A little backstory here. I have been uh I have been a planner nerd, a planner fanatic, a planner addict my whole life. I mean, I was that girl in kindergarten who was walking around with a planner or a makeshift planner because you know I didn't get planner money back in those days, you know, it was the 80s. <laughs> but I I have always loved planners and I was a teacher for over 20 years and I used and loved planners all within uh, my years of teaching and in the profession and I absolutely loved them. Like most of you planner friends out there, I fell into all of the trends. So everything from the Philofax to the Erin Condren's to the Happy Planners, now Hobonichi's, you I name it, I've had them all. And so I'm going to quickly go through with you all the planners that I've used and loved and what <laughs> kind of what are the best options or maybe the best options for you in order to help you make an informed decision with your planning needs and an effort to take away all of the <laughs> the cray that comes with planning and a lot of the anxiety that can come with planning as well. So first things first is my Filofax. Now I've had this Filofax, it's kind of beaten up a little bit, but I've had this Filofax for a number of years. I absolutely love it. I've made my own cards and I've like made my own little things here. And I believe I, I had this, I got this, oh goodness. I can't remember what, oh, this is from, the last time I used this was 2019 but I absolutely love it. And I'm gonna put the name of it on the screen here for you. If you have an opportunity to get a Filofax, they are perhaps one of the best well-made planners I've ever used. I'm still on the hunt for the Finchley, a Finley, I think it is, the purple pebbled one. I've loved that one for years. I love this too. I just use different things over the years as my planner and needs change, but definitely don't sleep on the Filofax. They are one of the best planner brands I've ever used. So there's that. And then over the years, I've kind of dabbled into different trends. And one of the trends I really enjoy is the Traveler's Notebook. Now this one here, you can get Traveler's Notebooks to suit any type of you know, needs that you have. One of the things I love about Traveler's Notebooks is that they're so customizable. So you have a, like an outer shell and then you just buy several little books and various brands make them. I just got this one here from Michaels and I'll actually throw up in a card, uh, a video from my primary lifestyle channel where I kind of went through how I use and love the Traveler's Notebooks. And again, reasonably priced. I got all of these supplies from my local staples here in Canada. And you can get the books based on, you can customize the books based on your needs. This one's expenses. This one is a daily sheet. And this one is a meal planning. And I also have the monthly sheet as well. They fit in here. You just put them in the straps and then you're good to go. And this is kind of an all comprehensive uh, style of planning. So if you like to keep things separate, this would be a great option for you. So Trevor's notebooks are great. Uh, next up are pocket 
planners. Now, pocket planners are great because uh, they are designed so that you can put it in your pocket. Now, this one is slightly bigger than a pocket planner, but just to give you an idea, this is the Kate Spade Wellesley. This is currently damaged right now, and I'm in the process of fixing and repairing it but I used to love carrying this to meetings and events and things I had to go to you can buy the the inserts on Amazon or anywhere to fill it in and it's it's great if you're just kind of someone who's like a strict paper and pen planner this may be a great option for you I love this planner and I'm hoping I can resurrect it soon one day one day soon I have yeah. a whole host of um, planner <laughs> options from the Happy Planner, and they're a great planner brand. Now, this is, I would say the Happy Planner is great for somebody who likes a desk agenda planner, someone who loves decorative planning, someone who um, may have a various or variety of events that they're trying to juggle and keep track of. This would be a great option for you if that is your lifestyle. If you're somebody who just kind of likes to write it down and get her done this may be a little bit um a little bit much for your needs but for the planner enthusiast any planner enthusiast the happy planner makes great options in a variety of styles this is my teacher planner my former teacher planner when i was a teacher this is the uh everyday vertical and they're just absolutely great style. Like a lot of folks here on YouTube, I d dove into the Hobonichi. This is my Hobonichi weeks for my work planner, as my work planner. And I like to use my traveler's notebook shell to house my my Hobonichis in. I, have, I do have two of them that I keep in here and they're just great and I just can carry them with me. Now, Hobonichi weeks are great if you're somebody who's a really small printer, <laughs> first of all. Um, I struggle with the Hobonichis because my writing is really big, but I still love them because they are just the size is great and just the layout is great. It just holds a lot of great things um, to it. Um, it's just such a great little planner. Uh, and, you know, if you're somebody who's a minimalist planner, this would be a great option for you as well. It can fit into any bag, any suitcase, any purse, anything, even the back of your pocket if, you know, you have a pocket that's big. And it's just, it's such a great little planner. It's a powerhouse planner. I really, really like the Hobonichi Weeks. And keeping in the same vein as a Hobonichi is a Hobonichi Cousin. If you are new to my channel, not so new, you know I'm no stranger to the Hobonichi. I love this planner because of its versatility, because of all the things that it holds. I use my planner if I, depending on my mood, if I want to use a lot of stickers and make it decorative, I do it that way. If I want to turn it into a junk journal, I do it that way. If it's my to-do list, I use it for that. If I'm journaling and having a rough day with my anxiety, I use it for that. I chronicle my mental health and my physical tracker in here. I use it for that. It is such a great planner to, like comprehensive planner and is probably... Uh, without a doubt, one of my favorite, if not my favorite planner. It is such a great planner. I know the hype is there on Instagram and on YouTube, but the hype is there for a reason. It's just such a great planner and I've absolutely loved it and, and have enjoyed sticking with it. Now, if you're somebody who is what I like to call a no frills planner, then you know what is the best tool for you? Anything that you can get your hands on that helps to capture whatever it is that you need to capture. And for me, a notebook will do. If you are like my husband, who is not a planner person at all, he just uses a regular notebook, not this one, but he uses a notebook and he jots down his ideas, uh, just using one of his favorite pens and he's good to go. He doesn't need all the frills and all the hoopla and the decorations and all that that I like to enjoy doing and using. But if you're somebody who's a minimalist planner, is somebody who just likes to get in and get it done, get her done, then definitely give a notebook a try. And there's a variety of notebooks that you can use. Uh, this one is a little bit more decorative. This one is budget friendly. I just have a couple of these from 
kind of like the dollar spot ish area at Michael's. They are the dot style. So you can use this as a bullet journal, which I have done in the past when I was kind of sampling with bullet, bullet journaling, but it's great for planning on the go. It's great for, you know, diving into uh, bullet journaling just because of the layout and the setup. And it's just so wonderful. It is just such, there's so many great options out there. You don't have to spend a lot of money to plan. You don't have to buy the latest, greatest things to plan. Part of planning the way you want and planning your way to calm is all about choosing whatever it is, whatever tools that you see and use and love and making it work for you. So that is the best way to plan your way to calm is not getting too crazy with the trends, not buying all the things because I've made that mistake before and I've all the things and my bank account's like, say, girl, what? Okay. <laughs> you didn't do all that. Okay. You just need to get the things, keep it simple, keep it fun, keep it light and get the various options that work the best for you. So there you have it, friends. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, the like button, and the notification bell so you'll not miss another episode and upload from yours truly. I love getting out of the camera, you know, let my fro breathe a little bit instead of seeing all the hand action, but I love spending time with you and thank you so much for watching and for being here. And until the next time, my friends, take care of you well and be blessed, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye, planner peeps. Baby, you can